number 146, readying ourselves for the second coming of Jesus Christ. In these last days, we stand ready by following the Savior's teachings, serving others, and striving to live lives of righteousness in anticipation of his glorious return. Whether we are here to greet him or stand ready with him to begin the great millennial work. Chapter 46, The Second Coming Jesus was on the Mount of Olives. His disciples wanted to ask Jesus some questions. They asked when the wicked would be destroyed. They also wanted to know when Jesus would come again. Jesus told them that before his second coming, false prophets would claim to be the Christ. Many people would follow them. But if his followers obeyed his words, they would not be fooled by the false prophets. They would be saved. Jesus also said that before he comes again, there will be many wars, famines, terrible sicknesses, and earthquakes. Many people will stop helping others and become wicked. The gospel will be preached to the whole world, but many people will not listen. The sun will be darkened, the moon will not shine, and stars will fall from heaven. When Jesus Christ comes again, people will see Him coming down from the clouds with power and great glory. He will send His angels to gather the righteous together. We can prepare for the second coming by doing what is right. When we see the signs Jesus promised, we will know that the Savior's coming is near. No one knows exactly when Jesus will come again. If we are prepared, we can be with Him. We look forward to the days when the Savior will return to usher us in a reign of peace and righteousness. As Latter-day Saints, we strive to prepare ourselves in the world for His glorious return. Russell M. Nelson Preparing for the Second Coming includes striving to be more like Jesus Christ, following His teachings and serving others with love and compassion. Dieter F. Uchtdorf the signs of the times point to the imminent return of our Savior. Let us not be caught unawares, but rather let us be diligent in our efforts to prepare ourselves and others for his coming. Thomas S. Monson As we anticipate the second coming, let us fill our lives with faith, repentance, and obedience to God's commandments. By doing so, we will be found worthy to stand in his presence. Jeffrey R. Holland. The Savior's return will be a day of reckoning for the world. Let us heed his warnings, live lives of righteousness, and prepare ourselves spiritually for his coming. Dallin H. Oaks. There is a great need for spiritual and physical preparedness and faithful living in anticipation of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the challenges of the last days which are coming closer and closer to home, wherever we live. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless and keep you.